Municity 5 can manage the work order process directly from a parcel. Simply navigate to the Items tab and either select Start a New Work Order or select an existing complaint from the Designated Complaints tab. Click on the desired complaint to open in a new window. Here you will see all complaint details, including a button in the top right corner to create and or link a work order to the complaint. Select Create Work Order to add a new job to the system. This will open the Work Order Creation Wizard, where the user can select which type to input from a drop-down menu of pre-programmed templates. Fill in the rest of the necessary information, including dates, description of work, and or any internal tasks that need to be tracked. Users can also include allocation for any stock, parts, or hours they would like to log in as part of the work order. These can also be added later if preferred. Select Create when finished, and the system will populate the work order in a separate window. The user can now view and add any relevant information, including navigating to the Items tab, where the connected complaint can be viewed. There is also a media section where any in-field photos can be added separately or they can be imported from the connected complaint. The Items tab also has a section for stockpile transactions, where the user can view previously logged information or create new transactions if need be. If a user would like to add a new type of stockpile transactions for a particular job, they are able to do so through the Municity 5 console, which can be found on the left-hand side of the main Municity screen. From the console window, navigate to the Stockpile tab and select the Create button halfway down the screen. This will bring up the Stockpile Wizard, where users can create new types of stockpiles, including associated information such as cost per unit, and minimum or maximum withdrawal capacities. This will bring up the Stockpile Wizard, where users can create new types of stockpiles, including associated information such as cost per unit and the minimum maximum withdrawal capacities. Once all information has been added, select the Create button and the new stockpile will be added to the selection menu. Creating a new stockpile will also open this item in a new window, where further detail can be logged or adjusted at any time permissions depending, of course. The console is also a tool for running searches on your work orders. Navigate to the Work Order tab at the top of the screen and input all relevant search fields, such as date, status, type, etc. Hit Search to populate your results, which can either be opened individually to view details or select the mapping button to plot your work orders on the internal GIS viewer. These work orders can be opened and viewed directly from their location on the map if this is desired.